the great thing about Austin is not just his progression athletically, um, but his progression in being a team leader and being vocal and, and, uh, and leading by example. And those are the things that uh, I have seen him, the areas I've seen him progress in uh, over the last two years. And, you know, staying here throughout the summer and, and uh, doing extra in the film sessions, uh, staying after practice, and then, of course, uh, being voted as a team captain by his peers. I think that's the ultimate honor. Oh, uh, some of the receivers and running backs, you know, they're, they're really good. Uh, it's, it's, I'm very fortunate to have them around me, and, you know, they, they're always there to make big plays for me and help me out when, you know, times get tough. He's uh, kind of become a, kind of a little bit of a dual threat quarterback. He's got the uh, mobility and the, the physical attributes that take off when things break down. And, and uh, his speed has improved and his uh, accuracy, obviously, and, and uh, just his strength overall. Well, I felt like, you know, uh, each week is a different matchup. Uh, I felt like between weeks, week one and week two, we made a lot of progress as a football team. Uh, in, in, in week three against uh, Kentucky Christian, I felt like uh, we lacked consistency in a few areas. But again, we made some improvements. You know, defensively, we, we held KCU to, to uh, three for 17 on third downs. Uh, our punting average uh, went up. Our kickoff coverage was still pretty outstanding. Uh, so, you know, we did some good things offensively. We, we struggled on third downs, and so we've really tried to focus on that. That's going to be an important aspect uh, as we move forward in the conference for sure.